Hi guys, how are you doing today? Yeah, today I just want to, look, to talk more about the PS5 and why it will just be actually better if you just maybe just wait for the PS4, PS5 Slim or you know, whatever new model of PS5 will be coming out because yet uh, ordering online is a nightmare because today I tried to order PS5 there's actually some stocks now with uh, our one of our major local game stores but uh, only their branch in Manila so I'm from Iloilo and but they have a branch in Manila their main branch there is where they have the actual unit there so the problem is you need to order online in, or, in order in Shopee and or Lazada, whatever website, it's a nightmare. So, so yeah, a thousand dollars. I've been I've been trying to get my order through my payment through for like three days now. And so what happened today is uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I thought that it was I would say would be able to get through when I tried the online payment because if I just selected the debit card again always get an error error the payment will go through so I tried uh, the online payment which is uh, directly from my bank account but online but it, I got an error again that my order was full my payment was void but I was still charged a thousand dollars on my account so it's technically technically not uh, scalper price because it's like a forced bundle so uh, it's kind of like at least like maybe uh, three or five percent more or maybe more than five percent maybe eight percent more than the regular price but it's at least it's not scalper price technically because when you uh, calculate the bundled items it's kind of reasonable enough but the problem is yeah see, it's just a nightmare so I've never first time experiencing getting a thousand dollars charge for nothing and then who knows uh, yeah they will be processing the refund but you know, it could take like a week, at least two business days or a week or more. Because I, I work with billing uh, telcos and cable companies before. I also handle billing sometimes, or maybe or sometimes I handle troubleshooting, billing, and sales. But yeah, and <laughs> it's a nightmare. It brings me back to my call center days where customers were just crying and dying and suffering because uh, their refunds are taking longer taking a couple ba couple, couple days two to three days or maybe a, a week or even more so it's just a nightmare just a thousand dollars that I could just uh, use for something else I could just use to like uh, maybe pay pay through just through over the counter cash or somewhere else that they accept cash that way if, if my uh, debit card will not go through but uh, I, I was charged already so if I want to pay cash tomorrow for, for whatever some other other store or have it COD but yeah so, <laughs> so if I will pay cash so but uh, means I will be shelling out two thousand dollars uh, yeah, so that's a lot of money because I've already shelled out a thousand dollars. I was that I finally decided that I would be willing to spend uh, two uh, one thousand dollars on a PS5 just to finally get one and just maybe try to sell my PS4 Pro and some other games to uh, to get some of my money back, but. Yeah, it's really a nightmare, and I remember back then, before uh, when before the PS4 came out, I, I 
really didn't like the fat version because I heard there's a lot of issues with the fat PS4. But anyway, I really, I really had no need to upgrade to a PS4 immediately since I'm already playing the PS Vita and uh, a lot of the newer updated games that I want to play is also in the Vita. So I'm, I'm also yeah up to date with the latest games that I like. So and I can still play. And the advantage is I can play anywhere. So I think I waited like two or three years until the until the PS4 Slim came out came out for I bought it for four hundred dollars. So yes, yeah, so I'm just uh, kind of bored lately and stressed. So and maybe. Uh, Getting a PS5 could cheer me up and maybe I could experience games in 60 FPS and play uh, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition and then just have the, the the boost in the loading and the frame rate and the performance and the graphics It'll just make me feel better especially in this pandemic time uh, I'm always here alone in my apartment. I'm always playing games, so why not make my game gaming experience better and smoother? But <laughs> it might be worth it spending a thousand dollars. But then again, so it's a nightmare. It's literally a freaking nightmare. So I think I will never pay uh, large sums for ordering things online ever again so yeah, yeah so it's a nightmare but I'm not I, I'm not that angry and not that in, in panic because a thousand dollars I can make that easier now compared to when I had a job job that uh, does not pay that much, pay a lot, pay much every month. So yeah, so at least uh, I did not suffer a stroke or a, a or a uh, all this a, uh, whatever distress uh, or panic or. So much stress that I can't take it because a thousand dollars is a lot of money in my country in the Philippines. But at least I'm not that stressed. I'm just pissed. But uh, I'm stressed. But I mean, I'm not in the high levels of stress. So, uh, and like like my customers before when I was working in a call center, telcos, uh, customers would be hysterical and desperate. So at least I'm not that desperate. Because since I'm financially well off but yeah but still that's a lot of money and uh, yeah so at least uh, I don't know so yeah we'll see so but yeah I've contacted my bank yeah emailed them so I'm just waiting for a reply but when they wake up because it's like uh, 5 a.m. now so I mean, yeah, so better just wait for the PS4, PS5 Slim anyway in two to three years since anyway, since the pandemic, is, the scalpers are making things, making life worse than it is already. And uh, we really can't do anything about it. We can't control people. Uh, is there right to whatever? So we better just wait for the, for the Slim PS5. Or, or by the time when people get tired of their PS5s and sell them. Uh, since anyway, the PS4 here, my PS4 Pro is working fine. Uh, with just a few minor hiccups. But uh, yeah, just be practical and uh, yeah, just 
uh, forget about the PS5 for now. Since especially it's the holidays. I don't know. Maybe, maybe their orders are uh, maybe their online systems are so busy that my payment will not get through because it's nearing the holidays and uh, the, uh, a lot of whole lot of people are wanting to have a PS5 and uh, also I don't know also ordering online that's why it's congested and also the box I don't know whatever but yeah so yeah so I just wanted to talk about it in a video and just leave a comment down below what you guys think yeah and see you in the next video